United States. And actually, it looks as though you've won the toss. What have you decided to do? Uh, I decided to have a bat. Uh, what's your thoughts behind that one? Uh, the wicket looks pretty flat. Uh, usually gets a little bit lower and slower later on in the day. So hopefully we can put a total on the board and uh, go out and defend that. Cadets, two-time uh, defending champs coming into this one. Do you rate yourselves as underdogs? I uh, haven't <laughs> given that any thought, to be honest. It's um, finals time, so it's out the window in my opinion. Yep. Brett Hampton coming into the side today, um, big bonus for you guys. Yeah, yeah, this club record's not great so we'll figure out whether that's a good good pickup for the weekend but uh, no, it's obviously awesome to have him back after the season he's had for Indy. Alright, cheers Anish, good luck today. Thanks mate, cheers. Andrew, uh, you've lost the toss, bowling first, thoughts? Oh no, it's either way, we would have batted but our bowling attack's done the, done the job all season so yeah, our bowlers will do the job so hopefully Score around 180, 200, yeah. Yep, and uh, key player for you guys today? Uh, well, our bowlers, I mean, we need to lose the in bowling, our, our bowlers will be a bit key, Ollie Curtis and John Griffiths so in the bowling, so yeah, they'll be two keys up front, yeah. Alright, thanks very much Andrew, good luck. Thank you very much. Kia ora, no mai, haere mai, welcome to Bay Oval here in Tauranga for the 2024 Versatile Williams Cup final between two-time defending champions, Element IMF Cadets and Greaton. My name is Bevan Jenkinson of Bev's Broadcasting, I am your scorer, commentator, uh, everything else in between, basically. Uh, as we've seen, Gerton won the toss and elected to bat. Both sides pretty happy. They would have been, um, they would have batted first as well. Who's on strike here first, guys? Sorry. Charles Williams to open up first ball. Have a look at his stats at, in the last two seasons of Williams Cup one day games. 118 runs in 11 innings, average of 11.8, strike rate just over 66, a score coming this season of 42 against T Pukki, 80% of his dismissals coming via court, all stats according to um, Play HQ, sorry folks just getting a um, phone call. First ball left alone. Ollie Curtis opening up from the Mount Munganui end. His uh, 
last two seasons of Williams Cup. 14 wickets in 11 matches. RPO of 3.8. Average of 10.8. So some good figures there from Ali Kuda's second ball. And into the pitch this time with a bit of venom. And through the keeper. Pitches are used surface, been used um, a couple of times in the last week or so. It was uh, used on Monday night when we were here live streaming. Third ball tries to whip this down leg and gets nothing on it. Yeah, to apologise folks, it was actually my co-commentator that's um, been locked out, but I'll go down and let him in at the end of the over. Fourth ball from Curtis, and this one left alone. Two slips in the gully in place, point cover, mid off, and mid on with deep square and a fine leg on the boundary. Good to have your company, folks, wherever you are, tuned in. Unfortunately, the only interviews I can do are the ones uh, recorded. Uh, swipes at this one. Gets it behind point. And should be... No, it's going to hold up, actually. I'll pick up two. And come back for a third. Long boundary out there. It's the um, far left pitch on this block. So definitely three runs if, you, if it does uh, stop before... The boundary brings Tom McRory on strike. 11 runs he needs for a thousand runs this season. He's having a superb season for the. <coughs> Eve Square Tin side. Actually, that's Tim Clark, sorry, that I've put up. One ball to come in the first over. Right arm over to the left hand of McRory. And gets this guided past Gully. And be the first boundary of the innings. It's four runs through, through third man. Nine without loss. Uh, seven without loss after one over. So, Joel Griffiths from the Todong end, left arm over and left alone, outside off. Pleasure to have Elton Gray back in commentary for this game, how are you going Elton? Yeah good thanks Bev, great to be here, beautiful day for cricket eh? Good timing mate, you, as I said you rang me on the very first ball. <laughs> yeah sorry about that, I uh, yeah, thought the door would be open but ended up nah. ringing you on the first ball of the game there, got to watch the first over from down on the ground which is actually... Quite nice, you know. That's beautiful ground here at Bay Oval. Second ball and just defended at the crease. Williams, three off seven deliveries. Yeah, both batsmen 
getting off the mark in the first over there. A good first over for them, really. Seven off it. A three and a four. Both sort of backward a point, third man area. Getting, getting a good bit of bat on ball and working it down towards the boundary. Or in one case, to the boundary. And oh, Ooh. here's a lot of fiddle at this one. Not a bad line in length here at the moment from Joel Griffiths. Yeah, Griffiths into his work here. Just finding his spot, as bowlers do early on, get into their rhythm. I was going to say, as a, as a bowler myself, it's, it's what you try and do. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Griffiths' uh, stats in the last two Williams Cups, 11 wickets, an average of 15, and just under 15 and a half. Uh, decent strike rate as well. It's an RPI of 4.36. That is some good stats. He's had a good season. Next ball, whip round, and can't beat mid-wicket. Conditions out it. I mean, it basically speaks speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, beautiful. There was talk early in the week. There was a bit of rain in the forecast, but yeah, it's it's beauty out there. There's sort of no no real clouds around, so should be in for a cracker. A little bit of wind, but um, players wouldn't mind that. Keep things cooler. And this one just a full defensive shot. Williams on the front foot, defending it well. One to come. Five dots so far. So Griffiths looking for a maiden here to get off underway in the final. Yeah, they won't mind this. Tom McRory at uh, the non-striker's end. Pretty good strike of the ball. Um, so 11 runs short of 1,000 runs this season. So I won't mind it. Is it will be a maiden to start from the Tauranga end. Two overs gone, seven without loss. These are the um, stats for Tom McRory that I'm talking about here, Alton. Couple of hundreds, couple of fifties, it's not a bad season like that, is it? Yeah, no, it's been a good season, for sure. Healthy average, good strike rate. Yeah, well, I think um, the 62 ball 100 uh, yep. there against Lake Topor, the quicker of the two, but the other one was about 64 as well from memory. All right. Um, stats that I've just chucked together um, last night. <laughs> yeah, good season, yeah. yeah. Those are two quick hundreds. Wouldn't mind 100, 160 ball 100, to be honest. <laughs> Take any. So in comes Curtis, left alone outside the off stump there. Now I know you didn't have a chance to have a look at that pitch, um, Elton, but like when we were using the same pitch as Monday night, there's a few scuff marks, a few uh, patches without grass on it, but it's still a great deck. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you got out there before the game and had a look. But I even, even interviewed the, um, uh, the captains, actually. Oh, nice one. This is just played at the crease. Only the um, second time I've ever done that. I was just telling Mikhail from uh, Bay Plenty Cricket. Any other time that I basically tried to this season, it's been too windy to, to record. Don't have to worry about the wind up in the commentary box today. Oh, no, not at all. Here's Curtis, right arm around the wicket. Cut through, or oh, didn't actually quite get it through, but they'll get through for one there. McCreary, a nice looking shot, fielded well, backward point. Yeah, great diving save there from the point fielder. Brings uh, Tom McCreary. Takes Tom McCreary off, off strike, I should say. Yep, and Williams back on strike. Right hand, left hand combo, always good when you're batting. Oh yeah, and Williams works it away on the leg side, a shot at the stumps, but I think McGrew was home. It was a tight single, but it was a good one. Tell you what, he was pretty relaxed on that. <laughs> he wasn't on the touch relaxed side there, eh? But yeah, they got through. 
good uh, good drop and run, no hesitation. Williams moves on to four. Do I apologise, folks? Just for some reason, my um, normal scoreboard's not quite working, so having to do the old uh, push and pull. This one's flipped down to leg, fine leg. An extravagant shot, but um, don't think he got it where he needed to. Runs a run, though. Ten without loss, one ball to come in the third. Yeah, a bit of a, a big swing. Was looking to get that a lot straighter, I think, off the sort of inside edgy part of the bat and down to the fine leg, but a run's a run. And Williams will face this last ball. Just a little delay here. We've got some people walking behind the bowler. And uh, the slip cordon's getting up them as they should. And now they're just going to sit down there, are they? Okay. I think so, yeah. We had this on Monday night too, people walking um, in front of the sight screen. is tries to work this down leg, and it is going to be wide. Umpires Jess Singh and Christelle High standing in for this one along with Chris James and Chris High. I tell you what, we've got four officials for this and, the, and three of them Chris's. It's <laughs> a relationship go thing going on as well. It's just played back to the bowler. Ends the third, 11 without loss. Um, yeah, with the um, relationship thing that I was talking about, uh, Chris Allen. James High related uh, by marriage. Uh, Jared McHale, uh, Jared the head groundsman here, married as well. It's a bit of a marriage thing going on at the moment here, um, Alton. Yeah, right, interesting. I'd love to. Um, uh, put some of those comments out there so, folks that uh, some of them is probably not suitable for the live stream just yet <laughs> yeah, we've got a few comments coming in there eh? no I don't mind it at all mate it means people are watching people are following it here's Griffiths played off the back foot there from McRory but can't get it through so it's not full but finding the middle of the bat starting to look pretty good McRory a couple of these shots. Well, when I first started photography, and they've got my camera next to me um, today, a couple of players going to the um, offside now from the leg side. Looks as though there's going to be two fielders on that leg side. Um, and they've got a business Bev's cracking shots, and I think everyone thought I was being up myself. But due to the fact that cricket was the first thing I ever, lived, uh, ever um, photographed, it's the next ball from Griffiths. He just played it crease. Good save at cover. It's probably saved at least two. But they get a single. Um, but I had to say to people, no, it's actually that, that crack out of the middle of the bat, you know, that noise. <laughs> that, that's where I got the cracking bit from. Another good looking shot there from McGrew. Cover drive this time. Sprawling dive, as you said, saves at least a couple of runs, maybe even three runs. Oh, how's that? They've gone up and he's gone. On his way. Caught behind here is Williams. And he has a, to trudge off back to the pavilion. Wow. Big breakthrough there for Griffiths getting the first wicket of the day. It was just that nibbly little line we've seen a maiden in that last over from Griffiths at this Todong end. Great line in length. Um, managed to find that outside edge. So Grant in 12 for one now. Caught behind by the keeper. And the cadets have their breakthrough. Well, it's very dark in here. Saw one of our commentator mates on Monday night making a bit of a gaff. Thinking it had gone for four, it was actually bold, so always pays to double check. <laughs> so the niche is it? Niche to sigh at the batting crease. Got a bit of a story about the um, Gurton captain 
in a moment um, for you. As we have a look at Anisha's uh, last two one day uh, one day stats, two hundred runs, an average of twenty five and in nine innings. Good strike rate of just over seventy one. Oh, score sixty three not out against Mount Monganui. Just over the way here. Been bowled four of those eight times. Anish Desai used to play for Marist Suburbs in um, Hamilton. Plays the Hamilton rep side as well. You know, plays for Greerton just due to um, there's some rule there that makes sense and I just can't think of it. It's called um, residency. Rocks. Um, and he was actually first captain of the, the, one of the um, one of two captains in the um, first game ever live live streamed and <laughs> commentated in Hamilton. More, more to that though. So I uh, ended up scoring for Marist Suburbs and um, you know, good old rugby and cricket season overlapping and managed to go and uh, travel from Hamilton to Pairua, I was living in Hamilton at the time. Um, I was assistant referee for a game and a half of senior rugby. Tried Griffiths gets through for another dot ball there. There's two dots. Drove back to Hamilton and decided I'd go on and just check on the cricket. Um, Anish um, takes off for a single while batting. Ends up having a massive back spasm and couldn't field. And they're looking around and they had Peter Bocock, who is a Northern Brave um, contracted player. As Griffiths comes in, full toss, broke the board there. By an ish. No run. That's the end of the over. 12 for 1 for Greerton after 4 overs. Yeah, great over again from Griffiths. Just the one off it in the wicket. Um, yeah, so Paddy Bocock was on the sideline injured. They had a Hamilton rep player injured as well. And okay, who can we get to subfield? <laughs> and after a game, of senior, a game and a half of senior rugby, I ended up um, going out and fielding. Not bad for a village cricketer. As I'd label myself, <laughs> ended up um, they ended up deciding putting me in the uh, safe place of fine league. So I ended up having to run finally to fine league because <laughs> Anish is um, it's the first ball of the new over because Anish is back played up, <laughs> just played yeah, right. down to mid off. That's a bit of a stat for you, eh? Getting out in the field there for what team was it? Uh, Marist Suburbs in Hamilton. Oh, yeah. I think I, I did originally have to field a ball at mid-off and um, managed to stop it that almost landed back at the batter's feet. <laughs> it's hit at me so hard as it's just played to point. Rolling well here to the field. The yeah, right arm around the wicket to the left hand and it very doors. It normally takes a while for them to start coming around the wicket. but I think it's to allow that, you know, given... There's plenty of space out on this league side. And see, you know, allow them to hit. Although, as I say that, finally it's going to come up inside the circle. Covers dropping back. So, slot, gully, point, cover sweeper on the boundary, mid off, mid on. Finally now going to mid wicket, I think. Have a look at things. No, might be a wide. No, it is mid wicket. In a deep square, so deep square and cover on the boundary. And this is slashed away. A little bit streaky from McGrory, but he gets it through almost between gully and slip sort of region there, eh? Slashing the hands at it. Four runs. He only went hard at it, um, which is, from what I understand, his natural game. And um, got it up and over. Just raced away on this carpet. Yeah, into double figures, 11 off 10. Here goes Curtis. This time it's defended by McGrory on the front foot. A tight ball there from Curtis, keeping him honest.
and again. Curtis, right arm around the wicket to McRory. He's had on the... Oh, he's That's cleaned bold. up, in fact. It's through the gap. That's out of nowhere. Curtis cleans up the big wicket of McRory. Gone for 11. Tell you what, we talked about it earlier. Right arm round, bringing it into the um, batter's you know, legs. He's just bowled it perfectly there as a bowler. Um, I, th- I think... Actually, sorry, the only player that's going to be disappointed about that delivery is the batter. <laughs> it was just a perfect ball. Yeah, beautiful stuff. You know, I had a bit of an Andrew moment there. I didn't see the bails come off until, in fact, Curtis just ran down the pitch and didn't it, he didn't appeal to the umpire, and I realised the bails have been removed here. He's clean bowled it. Definitely, Brett. Yeah, it looks like Brett Hampton that has walked out. We're just waiting to confirm here. Brett Hampton, the new man in, batting at number four on this Greerton lineup. Healthy average there, a nice high score. That's his list A stats. If, these, if you don't know what a list A game is, it's um, one day domestic fixtures. Um, was also crowned on Thursday night Northern uh, Northern District's men's player of the season. And um, he actually holds a world record. Just played to mid wicket. Ends the over five gone. Successful one again for um, Element IMF Cadets from Otomotai. At 16 for two. Yes, yeah, so 2018, batting with Joe Carter, uh, eclipsed the world record for most runs off, a, off an over in list day. 43. And it's amazing that. I think I was saying to Chris Hyde earlier, um, you know, those sort of records normally fall for one better, but for an over go for that many off, off two, um, c- kind of have to feel sorry for the uh, Central Districts player that they took a liking to that day. How many no balls in that over there? Huh? I do, there was two. Oh. I have actually got um, how Brent Hampton's over went that one. It's angled into the pads. Clip down to fine leg. Will just be one. It's a nice looking shot there. From Desai. Just clipped off his pads like you said. And getting up to the non-striker's end. Yeah, so Brett Hampton in that world record over had four, six and a no ball, six and a no ball, six and one. <laughs> and a one. Well, that's what brought Joe Carter on to strike, and then Joe Carter finished it off. Right. Yeah. So that 43, he scored 21, plus the two no balls. Here comes Griffiths. Tidy line there from the left armour, and just defended by Hampton. What was uh, interesting about the toss that I had with um, or the quick talk that I had with Anish is that um, Brett Hampton apparently doesn't have a great club record as, we, as we've seen, has an excellent um, first class record uh, even though that was list day but um, as I said uh, was awarded Northern Brave Player of the Year on Thursday night Defended again by Hampton. No run. Talking about uh, world records though, Anton. Uh, Elton, sorry, not An- Anton. Um, USA have uh, released a uh, uh, their team, or their squad for five T20s against Canada in a couple of weeks. Have you seen the USA squad? 
No, I haven't. Has uh, the former record holder, I think he held it for about two or three weeks, the world's fastest century in a one day international, Corey, Corey Anderson. Anderson. I did see he was playing over there as Griffiths gets another dot ball and it's left alone outside the off stump. Yeah, he's been, he has been picked for a debut for the US. He, was, uh, he has been over there for a while um, trying to make the USA squad for the uh, T20 World Cup later on in the year. And he's made it. Oh, at least the Canadian series. <laughs> right, yeah. So I've seen he was playing some big bash. As we see Griffiths coming again. Oh, played out and edged. Caught behind and off trots Hampton. Griffiths with another huge breakthrough here. Three down now. And Hampton goes for zero. Caught behind again for Clegg. Well, I hate doing this, Selton, but out comes the duck. I mean, you've got the graphic, you've got to use it, right? Oh, definitely, mate. It's an, oh, pays homage to, of course, uh, Daddles, the Duck, the right. Channel 9, Wild World of Sports, Wild World, World yeah, whatever, whatever that is. Um, big thanks to my partner who did those graphics for me. I think in the off-season I have to get some sound effects as well. A wee quack-quack sort of sound effect. He's got a white island, but yeah. Well, 17 for 3 now, Gretton. The cadets are on top. Moments ago, Griffiths removing Hampton, caught behind. And this brings Syme to the crease. You can see his stats up on the screen there. Good high score of 94. Healthy strike rate. Healthy enough average. But he's got a big job ahead of him here, batting at 5. See so Sam Clegg's getting a bit of love on the live stream. The uh, Gert, the Element IMF Otomoto Cadets wicket keeper. It's taken two of those pretty, um, I mean, pretty comfortably for a wicket keeper. But uh, I, ne I know when my time as a wicket keeper it never looked easy. Just a left alone there, but he thought about playing it. Did Syme and Griffiths ends another good over. 17 for 3 after 6, Gretton. I've got their tails up at the moment. Otomotai Cadets, um, two time defending champion. Champions of the Williams Cup as well. Sort of, you know, got history on their side. It's just been good line and lengths. Like, I mean, there haven't been loose shots. We, we, you, know, you know the brain explosions they've just been good good bowling they've got those three wickets yeah two caught behinds and one clean bowl so yeah it has been just good balls removing the batsman far yes, here comes Curtis on the front foot there defended no run Gonna need a captain's no. knock here from Desai. Yeah. Seen him do it uh, with him uh, with Maris Suburbs. I've seen pull pull a few things out when in trouble. Got a long way to go in this game still. It's time Desai just plays it out to mid wicket, no run. Again, some good tight bowling here from the cadets. Actually, forgotten, forgotten Willie the uh, Walter the Worm. Sorry, not Willie the Worm. It's, um, that's Willie the Waiter, isn't it? <laughs> Little to draft mascot. Ooh, clipped off the pads this time. Desire going to find leg. Just be the one run, but a good shot.
Curtis with three to come. And he has the new man side strike here. Only face one ball so far, so no doubt they'll be trying to put pressure on the new man, put the ball in the right spot. Yeah, just side just coming down and having a bit of a talk to him. I'd say just keep your level of head here, mate. As, as I said, well, as I've said uh, just before, long way to go in this game. And he's off the mark there with a nice little shot work through mid wicket there, and it could go close to the boundary. Well fielded there, but they're running back for three. So good running, good shot, good fielding, good cricket. That's what we've come to see in a final. Nobody wants a very lopsided final. The semi-finals, unfortunately, were rained out. So uh, you know, this is one and two from the season. Well, wow, fair enough. I mean, they've done the hard work through the season and they're sitting at one and two. So when you do get rained off semis, I've got no problem with one and two advancing, obviously. Pull shot there again through mid-wicket. Decide this one will reach the fence. Beautiful pull shot, well in front of square from the captain. And that's good, good four runs to the total. Let's see what Curtis does in response here at the top of his mark. Shout out to Carter watching, oh, Carson, sorry, watching in the UK. Well, beautiful looking shot, but straight to cover from Desai. So that'll be the end of the over. Curtis finishes another one. 25 for three after seven. Gretton. I do like that there's um, Jim Sunderland commenting, tell the bowler to ramp up the pace, looking sluggish. Well, I have to say, when um, they're bowling like this, why, why change it? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the bowlers are on top, so an interesting comment there. <laughs> Everyone's entitled to their opinion, though. That's right, so uh, yeah. That, that's why we have the um, comments open, to be fair. And we love it. We love all, We love getting the comments. Don't get me wrong. I was going to say, trust me, folks, they are really appreciated. Griffiths again. Left arm over, again outside off stick, and left alone there by Sign. He's on three, just got to the crease. Well, three down after seven overs, 25 on the board, not where Gretton would have wanted to be. Yeah, well, I'm having a look at the... Um, versatile Williams Cup 2024 plate final and it's a very similar situation over in Papama. This one's just let go through. Uh, Papama batting first against the Prague's investment partners Glazer City uh, 23 for 3 in the 8th over as well. That game being played at Alice Johnson Oval. Have a look at the reserves final as well, that one being took between the Craig Investment Partners, uh, Geyser City, and Eastern Bay Penny Hurricanes. Uh, that one at Rayboard Park Reserve. Here's Griffiths again. This time, driven, but it's an outside edge from Sign, and no run, just fielded there at Gully. Well stopped. I apologise as I say that I've had a look and there's no score there so but not sure what's happening in the reserves one day final outside off there and left alone. Good ball there. And Griffiths. I have to say that, um, you know, you, you, you've got your oots and ahs going in. The uh, scorers are doing the same thing. I think they're reaching almost um, on cue as we are. 
Nothing wrong with the keeper there, Jaden. Um, wearing short sleeves. I know some say it's a bit village, but um, as long as they're wearing pants and not shorts. <laughs> some keepers wear shorts, so it's probably a bit of an issue. He's taken his catches so far, so that's the main thing. There's Griffiths, gets another dot ball there. Outside off. One to come in this over. Sign will face it. So they got a deep third man, fine leg. Two slips, gully. That's what they've been operating with here. And this one's outside the off again. Left alone, and that'll be the over 25 for three after eight. Gretchen. Yeah, interesting those last couple of balls there, Alton. Um, as a nation might be taking a couple of layers off by the look of things. It's pretty warm in here in the uh, air conditioning, so I can imagine it's quite warm down there. But um, just left that carrot out there, didn't he, in those last couple of balls? Seeing if they'd played it, but um, no interest at all from Sime. Which I think is pretty intelligent batting. And you're three down inside eight overs. You also know it's quite warm when I'm drinking water. <laughs> Change Ka bowlers. Cam Murray into the attack. After playing league for the Rabbitohs against the Bulldogs yesterday. Yeah. Jokes, okay. but yes, yeah, same name. Here he comes, first ball. Drags it down and it's attacked, but it'll just be a dot. As you see, Murray's stats come up on the screen there. A good low average. Good yeah, spinner. under 15, as this one's guided just past backward point, and we run. As you see them again, yeah, the average 14.73, that's impressive. 3.7 runs and over, it's good stats. Yeah, three for 27 against Tauranga Boys College this year. This one, three wicket bag, gets us to smith, you know, 82% of those wickets out court. All these stats, folks, um, according to the, the quick tally that I did on Play HQ last night. Just played down to mid on, can't beat the fielder. Yeah, always exciting seeing a leg spinner involved. Got it on a pretty good spot early on too for his first over. That one's another dot as Sime works it out on the offside. I think it, from a bowling perspective, um, you know, wrist spin is the hardest discipline. Let's play down to mid on again. Another dot. Although the likes of Shane Warne um, and others. You know, make, make it look so easy. One ball left in the ninth. There's a big appeal in Kevin. LBW there in Murray's first over. What a result for the leggy. Perhaps that was just the, the one that went straight on, skidded onto the pads. Four down now. Gretton. Well, it's more than a spot of bother now. They're in trouble here at Bay Oval. Yeah, and again, Elton Gray, as we've been saying, it has just been brilliant bowling, brilliant pressure. As I said, use pitch, but still a great deck. Yeah. Simon is gone. And that'll be the end of the over it was too, so the new batter won't be on strike. And Murray has the figures of one for one off one. A great start for the leggy. 
And now it comes Daffy again because that was another duck. Sign this time. Going for a duck, so yeah, for cadets, well on top. 26 for four after nine overs. And that brings Clark to the crease, the new batsman. A very healthy average, over 50. A couple of not outs there help. <laughs> yeah, for sure. High score, 66 not out. Motive dismissal, 67% bold. Yeah, I looked at that and thought that was very interesting. As he, in fact, it's not him on strike at the moment. He's at the non-strikers end. But that one's defended by Desai. Yeah, thanks, Elton, for correcting me there. I was just about to say it is um, the science strike, not um, Clark. Griffiths going well here at the top of the bowling order. All the bowlers have so far for the cadets. That's full and wow. He must have got a little bit of bat on that because that looked plumb from where I'm sitting. Played it very late. Um, even even for someone someone like Kane Williamson, that would be a late shot. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you reset, think, well, I'm still there. Clear it out of your mind. Yeah, that's right. And that's what this side will do. He needs that captain's knock here for his side. He defends that one to the leg side it'll be no run yeah they just need a rebuilding phase here Gretton just no rush just need to preserve wickets get through to 20 overs or even smaller targets you know get through to one over at a time and just survive get their eyes in you yeah, break, break it down is the best way to do it in these situations don't don't think about runs don't even look at the scoreboard just balls make sure you're there in, a, in one over, in two overs. Yeah, just play each ball one by one. And before you know it, you'll have your eye in and you can... The runs will eventually come. Exactly, you can get your runs later on. They just need to survive for a bit here. And get through some overs, do great. And, and I'll, you know, two balls left in the first power play will allow... They'll have a few more spaces... As um, Element IMF Otomotai cadets will probably push those fielders out, fielders out. But on the other hand, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't at this stage. Griffiths. He's full, sneaks it under the bat, through to Clegg behind the stumps. Another dot ball. As a commentator, you've got to really love one of those contradictory statements, don't you? <laughs> One to come on this over. The tenth over of this final. And here he comes, Griffiths steaming in from the top of his mark. And this one's defended by Desai to mid off. And that'll be the over. That's ten gone. Gretton twenty six for four. made an over from Griffiths and you may have heard uh, one of the Chris's here in the commentary box pretty mi um, misery misery um, bowling at the moment from Joel Griffiths two for two or five overs he's bowling beautifully and the stats show it the figures show it as Cam Murray the leg spinner will continue from the mount end getting a wicket off his last ball of the first over. And it'll be 
Clark to face his first ball. That's his stats there again. Five innings, could average a 51. It's been not out twice. Sorry, I thought Murray was about to bowl there, so we'll go back. Uh, strike rate of just over 74. 150, oh, no. as we said. Two thirds of his innings. Murray pitching it up there, and Clark will just get on the front foot and defend it. Actually, just being told that Spencer Wills at the uh, bowling crease, not Cameron Murray. <laughs> no, Cameron Murray's bowling. No, no. No, 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 it's Spencer Wills. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, it so looks very similar. Okay. Yeah. Apologies to Spencer. His one for one off one. Not going to his name here in the commentary box. He wouldn't mind it. Clark defends this one. Pitched up on the spot there by Spencer. Yeah, Spencer's uh, bowling stats, 19 wickets in 13 matches in the last two seasons. Uh, RPR of 3.13, average of 16.7. Best of 4 for 40. There is again, that one's down the league side and may have been a tickle on it or it could be a buy or two here. As we wait for the umpire. No, no, he has little, got bad on it. A little bit of bad on that, so that's Clark off the mark there. Bit of a loose ball there from Wills down the leg side, and I'm sure Clark would have liked to get more of it, but he's got a little tick on it and gets off the mark. The leg side field going on here for the cadets as this one's through cover this time. And we'll race away for two. I thought he'd actually got more on it, but um, I think both batters just having a bit of tr trouble with their timing at the moment. And we'll come the 11th, 29 for four. Still a good shot from Desai. Through cover for a couple of runs. Spencer Wills coming in again here for the last ball of the over. And it's a good one, just defended by Desai. So that's the end of the 11th. Grayson 29 for 4. Yeah, Desai 9, Clark on 1. And 3 runs off it, off Clark's, off uh, Wills' first over. Big thanks to the uh, sponsors. Uh, both teams have got naming rights sponsors. Um, Element IMF for Otomoto Cadets and uh, Eve's Realty for Grayton. But um, as you can see in that top left hand corner, Versatile. Uh, big thanks to Versatile Tauranga. Um, the sponsor, naming rights sponsors of this uh, competition. And a big thanks to Luan and Gary at Versatile Tauranga. Griffiths into his sixth over. And why wouldn't you keep him on? Two for two. The first one's pitched up and defended by Clark for a dot. Still operating with that same field too. Griffiths. The two slips of gully in place. Just defended out into the offside this time by Clark. Another dot ball. Beautiful day to be out there playing cricket. An honour for these lads getting to play one on Bay Oval, of course. A little bit of a crowd there over in the on the terracy block, a couple on the bank on the the leg side, if you will, as well. There's Griffiths comes in, puts that one straight up, and it's defended out onto the offside by Clark. No run. 
Yeah, there's even a few kids with bat and ball. Um, past the first um, up the top there. Uh, got a co- comment here from James Sunderland. Uh, predictions at Elton? Well, it's hard to go past the cadets. They're well on top at the moment, so yeah, you have to pick them at this point. Griffiths. Oh, this one beats the outside edge. That is a beauty of a ball. Bit of a jag off the seam and had the batsman in all sorts. Clark. Just lucky not to get a tickle on it. It was one of those balls that was just too good to um to beat the uh, to, to get the mick. Yeah, jag too much by the look of it. But yeah, plenty out there for the bowlers, obviously. As he comes in again here, Griffiths. On the money there, straight, and defended well by Clark. No run. I don't like cliches, but I mean, cricket is full of cliches, but I mean, you don't know how good this pitch is until the other team's batted on it. Um, there's been a lot of cricket being played out here um, in the last week or so. We've had the Gillette Venus Cup finals out here. Um, the two club finals last last weekend. Griffiths full again and just played out to cover there for no run. It's another made and over. Six overs <laughs> into his spell, Joel Griffiths. Two for two. Impressive stuff. I mean, I wouldn't mind that after one over, but to have it after six. And a final, very impressive, at the top of the innings. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Jordan Stevens, about um, his run-up. But, um, and again, I'm not that sort of person to talk about people's run-ups. Because uh, my, actually come back to that point in a second um, what I was going to ask you there Elton is Cam Murray Spencer Will no, it's, it's Cam, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm listening to the scorers next to us All right, cool. Elton so now Murray's into the attack um, yeah there was the game on Monday night plus the 7 cup final was played out here during the week um, so it's had a, so the services has had a lot of work on it a lot of cricket on it but um, yeah oh, and sorry what I was saying about the uh, run ups it's all about the um, rhythm and that, that goes through as Murray's first ball right arm over and Desai just walks works as soft as pads for a single uh, talking about run ups and all that Elton did you manage to watch that video I sent you in the end? yes mate I've seen you um, <laughs> flatten yourself on the crease there coming in second ball of that over I did watch that yeah Keep meaning to ask you if you'd finally w- watched it because I know the first time round it didn't work for you. So yeah, no, nah, I got eyes on it. You can see Good. now why I can't criticise someone's bowling action. Well, I can, but <laughs> yeah, you still can. But yeah, you, you've got to uh, accept any criticism of yours, I guess. Here comes Murray. Almost falling over as he bowled that one. Puts it down outside leg stump, so that's well put out to deep backward square for a single from Clark. Yeah, so that left hand right hand combination is Desai back on strike. It's on 10 off 20, Clark 2 off 11. That's easy pickings as he works that out to cow corner along the ground. Does decide. Murray halfway through his over. The leggy, here he comes. Ooh, just defended this time by Clark. Uh, just putting it, putting it in a good spot there, is Murray. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love to know what uh, the element IMF 
Otomoto Cadets thought was uh, putting in Spencer Wills, just the one over after um, Murray's first over, one, uh, one for one. Yeah, that was interesting, and it stumped us in the commentary box there. Didn't um, get the new name in in time, but he also had had a wicket off his last ball of the over when he was taken off, as they work it out onto the onside there for a single, and that'll be the over. Thirteen for four after thirteen. Gretton. Pollitt into the attack here. Again, some healthy bowling stats there. Average of 9.83. Strike rate, 17.2. Five three wicket bags and a five there as well. Great stats. You know, caught 52% of the wickets. Um, so that's, that means, um, you know, He's taken a few other wickets and other modes as well. First ball, he starts with a great one. Yeah, bowling right arm around. Gets that one to fizz through and batsman just defends it. Straight back to him. And there's Clark on strike. Collard again. Oh, Clark. Didn't know much about that one. That's a ripper from Collard. Goes past the outside edge and through to Clegg. With the gloves on behind the stumps. I think it's about eight players that are the Element IMF cadets and Otomotai um, have that can bowl. <laughs> Just looking at the stats I've done in the last two years. Spoiled for choice. it again this one off the outside half of the bat fielded at gully Clark just fighting away here facing balls and trying to uh, stop the bleeding of this batting lineup they fall down both bats and have a job to do here for their team call it this time Gets hit out through the offside, but it's well fielded and there'll be no run. The fielders are really backing up their bowling here. And um, it's it's what you want, you know, the, when the bowlers are just so on top at the moment. Got it nice and straight and just defended by Clark. Straight back to Collar. And there's two to come in this over. Another tidy one for the Cadets. They're really on top here at Bay Oval. Just would like to confirm the reason why uh, Joel Griffiths back to the end of this over, uh, end of this ball. It's just, it's Clark just gets us off his pads down to deep backward square for one. Uh, the reason why Joel Griffiths can't bowl a seventh is um, he's a youth player. So youth pace bowlers can't bowl more than six on a trot. But he is allowed to come back into the attack later? or Yes. Just having that confirmed. I oh, see. So yeah. After another six overs have come from the same year, he can come back into the attack. 
looking after our young pace bowlers. I like it. And so you missed a metal head. Doesn't matter how fast you bowl in that um, line and length. If you can bowl fast line and length, that's great. But um, that, that's about it. As we seeing um, Murray go right arm round to start the 15th over. Spencer Wills, sorry. Ooh, oh, there's a, a drop catch. It's a drop catch, but tough chance. That, 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 that is, that, thank you, Chris. I is exactly what I was going to say. It is a harsh one to say that's dropped, but it is. <laughs> Just working with definitions here. Goes to hand. It's a drop catch, but it's a very tough one. Tough chance. Caught and bowled. Oh, I was with you though, Elton. It, 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 it drops still a drop. <laughs> There was none for three, two balls into a second on the Mount Monganui end. Here at Bay Oval, the Williams, a versatile Williams Cup 2024 foot grand final is a good diving save at mid on. I'll get through for a single. Yeah, just parried out to his other fielder there. And they get through for one. So, decides on strike now. This is Will. I think right arm over the wicket. Wilts. Desai works it out onto the, the onside there for a run. Brings Clark back on strike. It's a good building phase here. And, um, I'm sure the fielders. Not liking the left hand right hand combination. Yeah, so they must rotate Spencer Wills and Cam Murray and quite quite uh, regularly through the innings. I'm getting that idea. That's what they've been doing today as Wills pushes this one up and it's defended by Clark. The off in the leggy working in tandem from one end, if you will. Yeah. That ends 15 overs, 36 for four. I'll bring out Walter the Worm in a second. Do apologise that it is a bit um, haphazard, but it, gets, it, it shows you at least the progress. As um, Jess Singh looks as though he's doing his laces up there. There's the Worm. At the moment, it's on a similar trajectory. Sixteen, ten, and ten in the five-over splits. Here's Collett coming over the wicket this time, and played nice off the back foot by Desai, but there's no run. It's fielded out there at point. A slip, gully. Actually, that slip's probably a second slip. Point cover, mid off, short mid on. Deep backward squared, fine leg, and a third man on the boundary. Glad to have you on your Easter Saturday, actually. I've just realised I haven't mentioned it. It's Easter weekend. I think I know why, though. Let's call it. Right arm over. This one pulled out for a run. It's a deep square. Desai, the captain, getting up to the non-strikers in there. And Clark back on strike. I blame the lack of chocolate that I've had and that'll be why I've gotten that Easter. Is that a hint to get some chocolate into the con box as we see Collett? Clark advanced on Collett there and just dabbed it down to the offside, no run. Well, it wouldn't be the first time someone's watched um, cricket fr from the match, you know, from the ground itself, and if anyone's watching. 
you know, that has a bit of chocolate to spare. I wouldn't mind it. Bev's already got lollies in the corner over there, but it's not enough. He needs needs his chocolate, his collar. Bowls it outside off, and it's just out, outside half of the bat. Guided down to third man there by Clark. Well, even though it was an outside edge, it was quite a deliberate shot. He just basically hung the bat out there mm, yeah. to, to find the edge. That's why I've given him the benefit of the doubt and said guided. Fickle, Elton, fickle. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the bowler won't mind seeing that, downing the bat out like that. Collett's last ball of the 16th over here. Desai plays that off the back foot. Straight out to cover. There'll be no run. And that's the over. Gretton, 38 for four after 16. And looks as up the strengths as well. So, first part of the day done. Out in a bit. And it's uh, the element IMF cadets. Otomotai on top at the moment. They've got four wickets in this 16 overs. But... The uh, Eves Realty Great inside building nicely as well. We'll be back shortly after drinks. All right, we're back after a quick drinks break. Spencer Wills, two overs for five from the Mount Longanui end. And this one just played down to mid off. Good to have your company wherever you are, folks. Bevan Jenkinson of Bev's Broadcasting. Alton Gray's just popped out for a second. He'll be back. And winds up. But can't beat mid on. Looks as though it's attack time here from Tim Clark. Straight after drinks. This one left alone. This just played to point. 
as I've commented there, Jordan Steeples, um, I was hoping nobody had noticed that I was having a bit of a hash of the scoring. I'm trying to do the, um, trying to commentate as well as score and everything else. Going to work in the off season and see how I can find a easier way to, for a scoreboard. Is the um, one that I usually use, which just requires a couple of buttons pushing. Um, is a lot easier. Last ball of the first over after drinks. And rinse and repeat. Back to mid off. Ends the over. 17 gone. 38 for four. It's a maiden over as well. You could comment there, R Rob Melson. I do apologise if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, both spinners, Alton, from the Matt Mamanui end looking pretty tidy. I'm going to ask you that and then realise she's chomping on lollies. <laughs> Gotta get the sugar in. Now, as an Aussie commentator used to say to me when I went over over there to commentate, it's a, it's a marathon, definitely not a sprint. As Liam Collette to continue two overs for three at the Toro end. Well played there from Desai, but again, a straight to the field and no run. Versatile Williams Cup 2024 Grand Final between Element IMF Cadets. So, so, so what does the pads throw to the uh, through to backward square for one? Yeah, Element IMF Otomoto Cadets and uh, Eve's Royalty Grayton. Grayton having no issue with um, Winning the toss and electing to bat first, but um, be, would be interesting to have a chat with him at the moment. <laughs> if we could. Here's Colin again, down leg side this time, and it'll be wided by the umpire. There haven't been too many wides thus far, but that one was well down leg side. And, well, I'd say Clark would have wanted to get some bat on it, and it's probably going to go for but he's missed out. Your funding's quite wide. Yeah. So if he had just got a little touch on it and enough to beat the keeper. Mm. If he got too much on it, it would have went to that field you're talking about. But he's played this off the back foot and it's taken it. Point. What a catch. He's gone. On the back foot. Slashing at the ball. Got a fair chunk of it, but it was straight to the fielder and taken. Yeah, Fergus Elwin. With the great hands. Yep, He's on under 19's play up. It's an exceptional catch. And it's 39 for 5 now. Yeah, I said straight to the fielder, but it wasn't really straight to the fielder. He had to up to his right, and it was a good catch. And low. Yes. Travelling at a decent rate of knots, too. So, Gretton, they slipped down now to 39 for 5. In big trouble here at Bay Oval. They need a fight back. Their captain is still in the middle, Desai, so a lot rides on his shoulders now in this one. I've got a comment here from um, Alexander Clegg that would actually make sense, um, Elton. It's the um, off spinner when the left hand is on strike, and when the right hand is on strike, it's the wrist. Which, which does make a bit of sense, because both bowlers bringing it into the batters. As Alex Oakley walks to the crease, um, Used to play for Hamilton Star University. Part of a couple of winning uh, one-day teams in Hamilton. In the Heck Holland Plate. In Spark uh, Trophy. 
his uh, brother Josh Oakley um, was on Ce Celebrity Tre Treasure Island, Fans vs Faves, opposite his mother. Did you watch that? Ron? No, I didn't. He'll be facing up for his first ball. And got a bit of an e inside edge by the look of this. And wait for a see a signal whether there was bat. No, it's just a bye. Mm, no bat on it, straight through. And keeper couldn't quite stop it. So they'll get a well-needed run there off a bye. Uh, yeah, their mother... Um, is Dame Susan DeVoy, who was also on um, Treasure Island, fans versus face, opposite his son, opposite his son, so. Let's call it again. Right arm over the wicket. Oh, good looking shot, but it's straight to point, and Desai rolls his head back. A little bit annoyed. He knows he's middled that, but straight to a field and no run. He's on 14 off 29. Last ball of the 18th. Desai just gets us off his pads. He is quite strong you know, off his pads there. They get a single down to finally. 18 gone, 41 for 5. Desai on 15. Oakley just the one ball face without scoring. And Clet, one, one for six and three overs. Good bowling figures again. All the bowlers so far have done a good job, haven't they? Yeah, as, as we've said, I think, I think that over had the wide in it where it was really sprayed in the first bad ball that was uh, bowled in the 18 overs we've had. Spencer Wills to continue from the Tauranga end. And Oakley can't, uh, Desai, sorry, it's a single off the last ball. Can't beat Mudwicket. He reached out to that one and worked it on the onside. No run. Wills again bowls that one straighter, maybe two straighter as they get through for a good tight single there. Alex Oakley, the uh, Eve's Realty. Look at Keeper. Um, has also played Last Man Stands um, in Hamilton, as well as Tauranga, and I can't remember the Tauranga team's name, but um, it basically was most of the muffin stuffers from Hamilton that, that were now living in Tauranga. Um, and the muffin stuffers were the best on Hamilton for years. This is what to. Oakley plays it out to the leg side, but no run. Uh, made the nationals um, quarterfinals each pretty much each year they went to nationals, but was beaten by Court Short from Auckland. Wills again this time keeps it outside off and it's delicately played there from Oakley. Just guided it off the face of the bat past the keeper and they'll get through for one. Oh, thanks for that, uh, Campbell Wilson. Didn't realise that o Alex actually played, used to play for ki ki for the Cadets, now playing for Greerton. I think there's a few matchups like that. Down the wicket and straight to the fielder. Desai is now gone. The key man that was left at the crease for Greerton pulls out to mid on. He came down the crease and spanked it straight to mid on and another good catch taken 43 for 6 now Greerton I think the way Desai handled that dismissal pretty much summed it, summed it up he just walked straight off so it was a safely in the hands um, he'd been trying to get it up and over the fielders and just hadn't
Well, I messaged you yesterday, Bev, and said how long would the game go, and uh, at this rate, it might be finishing up a, a tad quicker than what you suggested. Well, when you said it, I thought we might have had, might have needed the lights on it. Uh, you know, if it got into a um, later game and needed the uh, the dreaded super over, because that's what happens if we are tied, goes the super over. And I mean, all of these possibilities are still still uh, possible. All cards are still on the table, they say. Yeah. As Ben Lind walks out to the crease. Going to need a good fight back though here, Gret, and six down inside 19 overs, 43 runs on the board. One outside off and just defended there from the new batsman Lund and that's the over. As you see, some stats come up for Lund there. Yeah, a bit of a tail end of looking at those stats. Unfortunately, I don't um, follow Bob play cricket well enough um, to understand, you know. Everyone's in intricacies, but uh, they'll need all the 70 runs today, if they can, from Ben Lund. Yes, high score, 23 up 25, was against the Cadets earlier this year, this season. So, at least he's got that on the board. Let's call it. Oh, that's spooned up. But, um, in fact, it might have been a bump ball. Yeah, I was just wondering that myself, actually. It was a really good catch at point, nonetheless. Yeah. Crowd catch. Had me fooled. But a dot ball, nonetheless, for Collett. This one's left alone outside the off stick. Through to the keeper. No run. Alex Clegg, Greta need to declare with respect. <laughs> he loves the cadets, he's saying. That one there just on the front foot. Dollied out to just sort of backward point gully region, no run. I did ask Mikhail from um, Bay Plenty Cricket for the um, playing conditions. It does say in the playing conditions you can't declare. <laughs> For clarification, you know. Oh, this, this one, three foot point. Good shot. Only get two, though. Two valuable runs. 45 for six. So old train clickety clack goes through. Yeah, good shot there from Oakley off the back foot. Hands through the ball, through the offside. Two runs. Well needed runs. Call it. Coming in again here. Oakley on strike still. Bit of a half-hearted appeal there, but it's not out. And there'll be one to come in this over. Uh, you got to love someone appealing at second slip and supported by everyone but his teammates. <laughs> Finishing off his over here. And he beats the outside edge. It's a good way to finish. Yeah, it's the over. 44 for 6. Call it 1 for 8 in his 4 overs. 20 overs gone. Plenty of overs to bat for here, Gretton. But as we all know, it's the wickets that are the problem for them. Yeah, and that, that is a huge 5 overs there. Um... Losing two wickets, but only eight runs off the five overs. Yeah, run rate and wickets not good for Greerton. Spencer Wills back into the attack. Four overs, one maiden, one for seven. 
as that's the Walter the Worm, you can see just tailing off in that last five overs. This one just defended by Lund, out to cover, no run. Wills again, puts in a similar spot and it's a similar result, out to cover, no run. A little bit more of a attacking shape there from Lund. But it's still no run. And this one's defended straight back to Wills. Three quick dots here. It's good from the spinner. A little bit wider that one, but it's no bat on it. He's had a big swing and it's beaten the bat. Taken by Clegg behind the stumps. And again, another dot just defended out to that man at cover. That's five dots. Good bowling here from Wills. And he's not allowing the batters to settle too quickly either. He's getting through these six balls very quickly. That was a quick over. That's one of the quicker overs I've seen. And it's a maiden. Great over from Spencer Wills. Carson. 44 for six after 21. Sorry, Alton. Uh, Carson Wills, um, look, mate, we are the we are two guys that love commentating. We also love another point of view. So, I mean, if there are people around that would like to commentate, I certainly wouldn't mind a break. Yeah, bring yourselves in for sure. 46 for six. I've uh, missed a couple of runs. Thank you, Chris James. Always go with what the uh, scorers say, say it is. The official scorers. Well, well I, had a, I had a mate that was a rugby referee at, at low levels. Um, this one just played to point. I love the enthusiasm from the cadets. Used to say, I'm, say as a referee, I may not always be right, but I'm never wrong. Coming in again to Oakley. Oakley with an unorthodox cross bat shot. Clobs it straight back to Cam Murray standing at mid off. No run. Beautiful view from the con box, isn't it? Can't see it on the on the feed there, but Obviously the mount in the background. That's how I started today. Nice. Well, we thought about a run there, but thought better of it. And it's probably just as well. Yeah, did, did start with the view up to the mount. Cause it's just, I meant to do it Monday as well, but um, just shows how great this, uh, these facilities here at Beauval are. Well, that's one of New Zealand's premier grounds. Bowled up, my him up. What a ball. Collett sneaks one through the defences of Oakley. And that's the uh, cadet's seventh wicket of the day. Wowee. Just full. Good pace to it. And straight on to middle and off. Bail removed. Forty six for seven. And one to come here in this over. Well, the job gets tougher now for Grit and Bev. You know, we've almost got to the point now we we just don't know what to say, Alton. Um scoreboard says it says it pretty much for us. Yeah, it's just been a great bowling performance from the cadets. And as you mentioned a few overs this, earlier, uh, been sharp facilities in the field too, as we see a replay of this wicket. Yeah, Collett's one of New Zealand's premier grounds. Steaming in here, right arm over. Watch this. Boom. Full. Bowled up, my him up. Some inside edge. What a ball. Collett there, sneaks it? one through Played the defences of Oak. Yeah. Squeezed it onto his stumps. 
it's a first for me. I haven't done a cricket replay before. <laughs> Just quickly chucked it up there. I reckon more often. Why? Why not? That's that was good. First full season I've done cricket for. It was actually the first thing I ever live streamed. It's Lockie Kenny at the batting crease for Gretton. Wow, a lot of work here for the tail. As he's the new man stats, low average, handy high score. He'll need all of that and more today. His collar. Oh, you're off the mark straight away. Well, they're going to have to run, though. Oh! They get through, but it was pretty tight. Yeah, the Fever's done well there. He's gone from a almost a um, Ford square leg to a standard tree square leg there. And just picked it up, throwing it straight away. Keeper's throw wasn't great. Keeper's done very well, though, um, to manage to get the bails off. Yeah, good work from Clegg, and yeah, like you say, good fielding. The fielding's been good all day from the cadets. Really backed up their bowling well. well. I think they've dropped one catch in this whole game so far, and <laughs> that would have been an absolute rip score if, had, if the bowler had taken it. That tough court and bowl chance, yeah. 100%. So it's Cameron that dropped it. Uh, Spencer. Yeah, Spencer Wills. It was at the bowling crease now from the Mount Monganui end. Five overs, two maidens, one for seven. So here's Kearney. He's one off one. And it's off the inside edge. No run there. The side score coming for uh, Tauranga Boys College. Um, it's a year out of college. Playing Premier Cricket. Last season. So this one's whipped away off the pads nicely from Kearney. Out to deep mid wicket. Deep sort of in front of square position out there. It's one run for him. As a genuine tail ender myself, it's situations like this I love. I love being in situations like this. Worked around the corner there. No run. I actually enjoy reminding um, Mara Suburbs, who I've never played for, I've only scored, um, but I've had two brilliant moments with, with bat in hand against them. Good looking cut shot there from Lund, but it can't beat the cover field, no run. Wills. Right arm around the wicket now. This one's defended to cover for Blunt. Cut away again. That offside straight to a field of no run. That's the over. Gretton 48 for 7 after 23. His collar, again it's full, a little bit of interest from everyone in the field there, but it's straight through to Clegg behind the stumps. Oh, it was a genuine uh, no feet movement from the tail end. <laughs> yeah, getting, that the, one. getting the field excited. Kearney, the man on strike. Whoops that one off his pad nicely. You get the feeling he likes it there. He's played a couple well off his pads. And he'll get one run for that. Out to fine leg. And here's Lund. The left hander back on strike. So Collett looks like he's gonna come around the wicket. So 
So Lund on strike here. There's none off 11 at the moment. And um, just to the right of screen, off, off screen, there's a slip, two gullies in place. Doesn't play that one too bad though. They'll pick up one. It'll be off the mark. Brings up the 50 for Gretchen, 50 for 7 in the 24th over. Yeah, it was a tough 50 for them. Going to need a miracle from the tail end here to get a, a big total, but yeah, it's going to be tough. Well, one of those games I was talking about um, was against, you know, as I said, against Maris Suburbs, and I think it had been a 300-run tied game earlier in the season that I didn't play in. And we managed to score, you know, in the second game of the season, 120. And I managed to hold one end, I didn't score many, but highest score on a Saturday is 22, not out, so, um, but managed to hold one end, and I think we bowled them out for 90. This is, you know, a couple of months after a 300 tied game, so, who knows? Yeah, it's a funny game, cricket, you never know. It's a weird game, hence why I keep watching it. Here's Collar. Coming in for his fifth ball of the over. One to come now. That is just taking their time at the moment, which is a smart thing to do. Down the leg side and looked reasonably wide. Yep. Wider by the umpire. Almost as wide as your mouth there. You're yawning, Elton. That's right. Keeping you up. That's right. Now, surely some tailwind slogging will wake me up here. It'll wake up the dead if that happened. Collet coming around the wicket. Oh, bangs it in short. And square legs. Put, got the arms out for a wide. Yep. <laughs> Too far over the head. Took a while for the main umpire there to wide it. But his square leg hit his arms out early doors. Yeah, no, I was just thinking, I, th I thought um, Chris Dowd had signalled wide and then all of a sudden they're signalling just the one for the over. They're allowed two bounces in the over. That one being the First of the game, right arm round. Beautiful shot, driven straight down the ground. Will it have the legs? It'll pull up short of the boundary, in fact. But it's not very well fielded there, and they'll come back for a good three. Good shot, that. Yeah, it's one of those, um, as a photographer, I love, you know, those traditional drives down the ground or cover. Any cr real cricket traditional shot looks great in photos. In 24, it is 55 for 7. Kearney on 6 and Lind on 1. Yeah, shout out to Kearney for that drive. Good drive down the ground for a sort of lower order batsman. He's looked fairly handy out there today. And he'll be on strike for us for this over. Wills to bowl it. He's into his seventh over. Here he comes. Right arm over the wicket, the spin it. And that one's left alone through to the keeper. Dot ball. It's Kenny facing to Wills. Just defended this time. No run. Again, Will's just looking to speed his way through these overs. He's doing that well all day. Another quick dot there. He's already halfway through his over. The 
this time it's worked out to mid off no run Cuny still on strike Thank you, Elton. We all make mistakes in life, don't we? <laughs> it's all right, mate. He's, he's, I don't blame you. He's a quick bowler. It's easy to miss, miss a dot, as you would have noticed on the scoreboard. One to come here. And defend it again. That's the over. Very speedy over. He's very quick at getting through his balls. He's keeping Bev on his toes. Bev can't keep up. But that's 55 for 7 after 25, Gretchen. Yeah, that 5 over spell or block. 11 runs for a wicket. It's a bit, a little bit better there from Gretchen. Still not great. But yes, better than it has been today, I guess. There's the uh, well to the worm going on. The Eve's Royalty Greaton side. As Curtis is back into the attack, um, in regards to this game going on, Elton, you don't normally say anything under six is expensive, but he's going at 5.8, which compared to the others is a tad. Starts with the dot line. One for 23 in his fifth over. Yep, he did get that one wicket up top though, which, you know, always important. Oh, it's not, not the worst thing in the world. Oh. Uh, dot there beating the outside edge. And he could uh, reap some reward, rewards here, bowling to the tail. He'll be liking his chances, no doubt. I've got the Alice Johnson oval of the... Uh, New Star Williams Cup 2024 plate final. Pippa Mauer 92 for 4 on the 27th. That being against his. I'll tell you what, he had to go back there in a hurry. Yeah, shy at the stumps, good fielding. Keeping them honest here. Uh, that plate final is uh, Pippa Mauer taking on Craig's investment partners, guys, the city. Carson Wills, not too sure what's what's for lunch. McDonald's is not too far up the road, though. Surely you get a free feed for mentioning Mac is on air now. Surely. Oh, surely. Yeah. No, I would That's have how it to. works out. I just name drop where I want to go for lunch and I, I just go there and get a free feed. Yeah, I've got proof that I said it. <laughs> yeah, sweet. I'll do the same thing. Just Love your thinking, Elton. Rewind the stream. and As we see, Curtis coming again. Backing away and working it past Gully there was Lind. They get through for one run. Yeah, smart batting from here. It wasn't the most elegant looking shot, but uh, runs a run. And at 56 for 7, you, you, you take what you can get. Yeah, exactly. It'll take anything at this point. I mean, yeah, can they get to three figures from here? Even that's going to be tough. I think the first total is 80. First target. Swipe across the line, but um, going down leg. A bit of interest there, but not out. Going down leg. Ends 26. 56 for 7. Lind on 2. Kearney on 6. Just a reminder, I know I don't have the... Um, a good looking scoreboard up but if you'd like to um, see the scoreboard um, there is a link um, in the description of the video just copy and paste it um, can't click on it unfortunately uh, just due to um, YouTube settings here's Wills again cut away the offside and no run from Lind. Well, we're going, we've gone from a bowler that's going at 4.8 to a bowler that's going 
1.1. One for eight in his eighth over. Spencer Wells. Well, that one's beaten the batsman all ends up. He's didn't know what to do with that one, and it's gone past the bat to clear. I'm sure if you asked him, it was a brilliant leave. Wells again, full and driven. Out to mid off, no run again. That's already three balls gone in the over. Again, defended from Lind. It's back in the hands of Wells. Very impressed with how quick he gets through his overs. It's good for the spectator. No Not so around. good for scorers, isn't it? <laughs> Although both scorers have done plenty of work for NZ Cricket, so I'm sure they're used to it. Both James, uh, Chris James and Chris Hyde. Already on to his last ball now, Wills. Around the wicket he comes again, and it's defended by Lynn No Run. Another speedy maiden from Spencer Wills. Beautifully done. Yeah, 27 overs gone, 56 for 7. Caritas coming in from the tower on the end. Steaming in. Kenny faces up. Big swing. Edged. Beautiful catch behind from Clegg. What a ripper that is from the keeper. And Kenny is on his way. Yeah, very little foot so work so there. This is from Kenny. These facilities here at. And a great catch from Clegg who's having an absolute stellar of a day. I apologise, that's not the video I was wanting. Yeah, what a ripper of a catch. The keeper diving away to his right after Kenny got an edge on that one. And Curtis gets a second wicket of the day. See the replay here. Don't apologise, my clips are 20 seconds long and I can't cut it. Steaming in. Kenny you might just be able up. to pause it there. Good and, pause. Look at the deviation off the edge. Clegg's got a wee way to go there as we roll it through. Yeah, there's no feet movement there from Kenny. And then Clegg. I'll tell you what, that's even better. One Beautiful hand. catch I don't think it was that Clegg. good. What a ripper that is. Beautifully but, yeah. illustrated on the replay there, Bev. It was a decent deviation off the bat. Clegg kind of seen it late. Didn't have that much time to get over to it. Bang, threw his right hand out. A screamer from the keeper. Jared Tuddy at the batting crease. Jared Tuddy at the bat increase. Sorry, these are stats for the last two seasons at uh, Williams Cup matches. 112 runs in seven innings. A good average of 28. Strike rate of 80.8. Highest score of 53 against T Boggy last season. Waits for first ball and this just played on the crease. Yeah, those are some pretty impressive stats for a number 10. Can obviously hold a bat. That's why they say that uh, stats only tell half the story, right? That's right. As he faces up again here, Tati Curtis steaming in. Tati plays it off the back foot, out to the offside, no run. It's too busy uh, worrying about the replay, Elton, to update that. <laughs> Update the scoreboard yet? Yeah. As I said off here, I'm you pretty, I'm pretty pumped that I was able to do that. Um, I've now done two cricket replays and managed to pause one as well. Yeah, keep it going. I reckon replays going well. Here's Curtis. 
Into Tuddy. That one seems to have stayed a bit lower than Tuddy was expecting, but defends it in the end. One to come from this over. Curtis again. He's two for 24. And defended again from Tutty. That's the end of the 28th. Gretton, 56 for eight. No, no we, uh, I was too slow before, now I'm too fast. Oh, Bev, you put us wrong there. I did it again. How have you done that? Anyway, that's right, one to come. Still too excited about your replays. Oh, definitely, mate. Well, it's rinse and repeat anyway. It's a dot ball defended. So it will be 56 for 8 at the end of the 28th over. I was just preempting the ball, that's all. Yeah, you knew what was coming. Look at Maiden as well, that one. Some great bowling here from the Element IMF Otomoto Cadets. It's a big name when you get the sponsors in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the first time I've had a long-winded name. I um, did a netball game in 2020, I think it was, when the crowds were allowed. And uh, that tournament definitely had a long-winded name. I'm not going to... Um, I can't repeat what was said on air at the time. Put it this way, it wasn't one of my finest moments. Um, yeah, that one was definitely a tongue twister, though. Wills again into his speedy work. There's a dot defended out into the offside. You've got to be on your toes commentating this man, don't you? Again worked onto the offside dot ball. Lind. Facing up to Wills again here. That one's wider and he throws the hands at it. They had to straighten the field a bit, run a, a single anyway. There could be overthrows. Nah, they've turned down the overthrows. It was probably on there, but. We'll get one run yeah. off wheels there. I think Ben Lynn might just have been backing up a little bit too far at the non-striker's end. He needs three tutty on yet to score off five balls. And he's doing what he can to slow Spencer Wills down here. Well, as they say, and rightly or wrongly, it is a... Uh, Batter's game. Tuddy just works it back to Wills there. Full face the bat. Off the back foot there, and they'll scamper through for one as it was placed nicely wide of mid off. And Tuddy's off the mark. Remember, I think it might have been Craig McMillan during the uh, Black Cap season saying, what a difference it is between zero and one as a batter. <laughs> it's no better feeling. It, 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 and it's completely different to getting two to three or three to four on that. <laughs> certainly is, is... That's the end of that over from Wills. 58 for 8 after 29. Nine overs, four maidens, one for a whole number of 10. 1.1 1 .1 has for RPI. Beautiful figures. Comes Curtis again from the Tauranga end. Tuddy facing up and just defends it. Out to mid off. No run. Just having a look at the field, and I believe um, although they're allowed four players outside the inner ring, they've still only got two <laughs> Fond Neg and third man. 
Oh, oh that's high. Pulled top edge. Man under it. And taken. So there's another wicket. The ninth of the innings. And Curtis has another scalp. It's his third of the day. Yeah, Ferg Fergus Lelman um, taking his second catch as well. And Tutty's the man caught out there. So that just sort of sums up the day really for Gretton. Well, it just puts probably the 11th nail in the coffin almost. Um, but then again, you know, we'll keep saying it. Um, Eve Squirt and they know now they've just got to come out and bowl and bowl and bowl. Do the exact same thing that Element IMF Otomoto cadets have done. At the toss, uh, Andrew Maskell, who was the uh, captain, um, said he didn't mind bowling first because of the bowlers that they had um, and I'm sure he's pretty much the happier of the two as James Boyd now walks to the crease number 11 there's his stats on the screen batting at Jack today and the stats kind of back up that batting position Average of 6.25. Mode of dismissal, bowl 50% of the time. So let's see if Curtis tries to put this one on the stumps. Left hander. Two slips, gully, third man on the boundary, backward point, extra cover, mid on, mid wicket, and fine leg on the boundary as well. Oh, it's on the pads, but going down leg, so not out, and it'll sneak through there. Think, leg by. I think that was one of those moments where it was probably uh, probably hit him outside leg. <laughs> but hey, when you're bowling with your tail up, three for twenty four in, in your seventh, why not appeal for something? Yeah, right arm around the wicket, so even harder. Never gonna hit. Oh, that's full, and it's driven from Lynn down the ground. There'll be at least two here. The ball might even go the whole way. It does, four runs. So Curtis over pitching there, and Lind pumping it down the ground for a boundary. A well-needed one. I think it's the um, third boundary of the innings, to be honest, and first one we've had in quite a while. Sixty-three for nine, and the thirtieth over. Put back foot and screwed it out through the offside. This will be more runs here, and it could go the whole way. The field are chasing it out there, and they do well. They keep it inside the rope, so he'll get through for three runs. Lind, bang bang, four and a three. The last two shots shows there's still a lot in the pitch for the batters. He's played two great shots. There's Curtis again. Boyd defends it straight back to Curtis. And that'll be the end of the over. Gretton, a better over for them. 66 for 9. Better over runs wise, but... Still losing wickets. Yeah, another five uh, wicket, uh, five over split there with um, eleven runs coming off it, um, as did the previous five, but fall of two wickets in that last five overs. Seems a bit of a silly question here, Alton, but do you see any positives that come out of this batting performance from the um, Eves Royalty Great inside? No, I don't think there's too many positives. Um, as this one's worked away on the league side. Decent shot. It'll go the whole way for four. A little bit loose down the league side there from Spencer Wills, and Lind was onto it. Mm. 
if I said their first target a few overs ago would be 80, they're 10 runs short of that. Unless, um, I do believe it will be a 10 minute break if a wicket falls in the next half an hour or so. Fall and defended there from Lund. Instead of taking the um, mandatory lunch break, just turn around and quick change of innings. Defended again, this one pitched a little bit shorter, but same result, doppel. Lind having a crack at that one, gets it over mid on, and it'll bounce down to the boundary for four. Four runs, with a bit of a late cameo here from Lind. Yeah, great shot, showing, uh, as I said, some s still more on this pitch than um, for the batting side. It is a um, knuckle breaker, I didn't use that term today, but definitely what I thought. Cut this time from Lynn, but it's straight to point, so no run. Complaining a lot about my scoreboard there, aren't you, Elton? Oh, I just want the viewers, <laughs> got to have the viewers uh, seeing the correct scoreboard if we could, Bev. Oh no, it's a fair comment, mate. Yeah. You, you've been you've been on the mark every time that you have pointed it out. I mean, I can start saying it on air if you want, rather than pointing at the screen, <laughs> but I thought I'd try and be subtle about it for your own sake. Yes, no, that's the over. Nice. 74 for 9. Joel Griffiths back into the attack here. Alton, six overs, four maidens, two for a solitary two runs. Some impressive figures from the youngster. And he comes, the left armour. Another decent ball, but that's pretty well played from Boyd. That shot almost reminds me of a few that an Easter side played. Just timed it well um, out of the screws. Just to a fielder. There's a good looking shot for a number 11. Let's see if it's his day. Have some fun in the sun, why not? That one's inside edgy, off the inside half the bat, down to mid on, no run. Griffiths throws her hands at it. Is there an outside edge on it? There is. So that's the end of the innings for Gretton. Griffiths gets his third. Boyd swings at it, gets an outside edge, and Clegg takes another catch behind the stumps. Four catches for Clegg today. And that's Gretton all out for 75. No, that's, I, I was just telling you to wait for a moment there. Um, 74, in fact. 74. I just thought I heard the score say 74 and was just uh, double checking on that. Oh, well, you got there. We're back in about 10 minutes, folks. At 1.15. With uh, Otomotai Cadets Element IMF chasing 75 to win and take out the versatile Williams Cup for Tech 2024.
All right, welcome break. And first ball from Brett Hampton. Bit of tail in there. Marcel Collett. Collett, bit lucky there. It's a top ball. Devin Jenkinson and Alton Gray with you. Alton, it was a quick turnaround uh, to, to a pretty obvious. The target's 75 from 50 overs. Yeah, that's right. Um, not the score that Grett and were looking for, I bet, but hey, cricket's a funny game. They've got 75 runs to defend, and here's Hampton with a good second ball outside off. Looks like he might be just getting a little bit of shape back into the right-hander there. Collett on strike. Yeah, Marcel Collett. 13 innings, 329 runs in the last two seasons in, one, in Williams Cup. Average just under 30 strike rate. A little bit on the slow side of 57, but that's okay. Highest score of 47 against Lake Topor earlier this year. Third ball from Hampton. Balks on it. Ball start. Yeah, strike rate on the lower side, but it's acceptable for an opener. You definitely take it as an opener. It means he... Um, does take it, you, you know, tries to take a bit of that shine away. Exactly. And I tell you what, he doesn't need to have a big strike rate to win this game today. But I'm sure the cadet boys will be looking to knock the target off quickly and get into their celebrations if they can. I'm sure Grant and Note would have something to say against this, although I try and get off the mark. All these are huge mix up, but. Um, at the keeper's end, though, and they do get off the mark, one without loss after three balls. Brett Hampton, dolling here from the Tauranga end, uh, ND men's player of the season on Thursday night, brings Fergus Lalman on strike. Played five games for the New Zealand under 19s at the recent World Cup. I think that average is wrong. I'd probably put something. Let to go 20 something. Yeah, I think he might be averaging more than two. <laughs> He'd hope so, 238 runs in 11 innings. <laughs> yeah. the top of my head, that's at least 22. Yeah. So do apologise about that. Oh, this one driven behind point. And it's a retrieval mission. Four runs. Flew to the boundary, that one. Blauman. Good shot. So, a bit of the bottom hand coming off the bat as well there. Yeah, really flew across the outfield. Fielder had no chance. <coughs> Here comes Hampton again. Solidly defended there by Lauman. Good cricket all round. Ball bowled on the spot and defended well by the batsman. Just to point out here, sorry folks, those spots you see on the um, screen um, aren't spots on the camera, it's actually spots on the window that we're shooting through. Um, I think next time, hopefully there is a next time that I get to come to Bay Over, I might buy some long um, HDMI cords and have the uh, camera up top. Last ball of the first over. And it won't be the last ball, there's an appeal to put the umpire off. But it was wide. Yeah, just slipping down the leg side there, Hampton. And yeah, the boys appealing to try and maybe think the umpire, make the umpire think that it's touched a bit of jersey on the way through or whatever. But nah, he doesn't fall for it. I'd love to know what that strike rate kind of is. <laughs> you never get a truthful one, but. Is. Taken! That's second out. slip! Wasn't too sure whether it was bad or pat. Pat or bat, but definitely bat this time. And it's 6 for 1 after 1 over. Yeah, the way it ballooned, I thought it might have been off the thigh pad, but no, it's caught behind, and the fielders didn't um, sort of go up as much as I would have expected them to either. So, yeah, in fact, it is 6 for 1 after the first over. Well, that's what the um, start that. Christelle, can you just check that it was Billy that caught that? The Eve's Realty Gretton side wanted. Billy side. Billy side. 
Billy signed there at second slip, taking the catch. And a great start. Yeah, good start for Hampton, getting an early wicket. And, yeah, well, you know, Grayton had to get an early wicket, and they'll probably need another few early wickets, but good start for them. Well, just pause it on contact here. This is steaming, back in the press, and again. Oh, it is too, sorry. Won't pause it. <laughs> Big wicket of Fergus Lelman. Andrew Maskell to the crease, but um, from the, the non strikers end is Jared Tuddy. We'll start from the Mount Monganui end. Yeah, Tuddy to call it. Played well there by Collett, just worked it off his body into the onside. And here's Tutty stats. Pretty handy. Low average. Runs per over. A tick under four, which is very respectable. Great stats. Here comes again Tutty, right arm over the wicket. Collett's on the drive. Good shot. That's flying towards the fence for four. It goes the whole way. That's as good as we've seen all day. Cover, drive, all the way for four. Call it, take a bow. I think this is a thing that um, needs to happen for, uh, you know, the uh, element IMF Otomoto cadets. Not because the right runs off early. Um, not because you want more time to celebrate, but just eases those jitters. Still a final. And funny things can happen. Yeah, this will be wide down leg side. Yeah, just getting too straight there, Tuddy, and it's down past leg stump for a wide. Yeah, 11 for 1. 1.2, so going quick early doors here. This time on the back foot, defends it solidly, out to cover, no run. Element IMF Otomoto Cadets, uh, um, two-time defending champions, and definitely on odds on at the moment to go three, back to back to back. But cricket's a funny thing, as we all know. That one just beating the outside edge. What a tail with the bowl bowlers here. Yeah, good, Elton. good ball that from Tati. Just banged it in outside the off stick and it beat the outside edge. Should say good afternoon to um, VJ who's tuning in. Did text me just before um, the 10th wicket fell for Eve's Royalty Gurton. This one's just played on a crease. Uh, VJ head groundsman at Kenmonda Park, which is in suburbs Newland, home ground in, in um, Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. I was wondering actually on Monday night, uh, VJ, if you're tuning in, never got a message from you, so I assumed you weren't. In comes Tati again. Last ball will be over. It's full and driven from Collett. Straight to a fielder, and they have it to dive to get through for the single. They might get an overthrow, they will. They'll come back for two on the overthrow. Ends two overs. 13 for one. Eight off that over. Bit of an expensive one, especially when defending 75. Just talking about groundsman Elton, big thanks to Jared Carter and his team, the head groundsman here at Bay Oval, doing an absolutely massive job once more. Uh, Jess Singh and Christelle High, the two umpires standing in for this game. And also a big thanks to scorers next to us here, the southern stand of Bay Oval, Chris James and Chris High. Hampton to continue from the Tauranga end. Here's Andrew Maskell 
the element IMF Otomoto Cadets captain. Ducks underneath this one, still has a swipe at it. Goes through the keeper though. Yeah, ducks, but it was an attacking stroke. He tried to pull it almost down on one knee there. And it's here's the stats on the screen, as you can see. Highest score, 52 not out. Against um, guys of City earlier this year. It's 150, caught 62% of the time. Big swing at that one, no ding, through to the keeper. <laughs> Here goes Hampton again. Defended there by Maskell. No run. Thirteen for one. The cadets. Two and a half overs into this game. It's no good crowd here. Tuned in, uh, you know, watching in person. It is free entry, folks. A um, bit of work going on to extend the um, facilities here at Bay Oval. There's Hampton, pitches this one right up. And Maskell just gets back down on it and bunts it back up the pitch. Big thanks to the three main sponsors in this match. Element IMF for Otomoto Cadets and Eves Realty. You see the top left hand screen there being shown now for Greerton and a big thanks again to Versatile for sponsoring the Williams Cup 2024. Good shot that played out through the offside just for one run but looked good there Maskell. Should also mention that's um, Versatile Tauranga and a big thanks to Luan and Gary for their continued support of this um, competition. They have plenty of men's premier one day comp. One ball left here on the third over. A few clouds overhead now, but very white puffs being shown. Standing up to and defending that one was Collar. Hampton finishes his second over. The Cadets, 14 for 1 after 3. Yeah, Hampton, 1 for 7. Marcel Collett, 7 off 10. And Andrew Maskell, 1 off 5. Got a change of bowler here from the Tauranga end. From the mount end. Oh, we'll go with the mount end. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I was half right. Setting the field here for the new bowler. Tom McRory. That's the new bowler from the Mount Monganui end. Had a good season with the bat as McRory. And here's his bowling stats. Also very handy. A good all rounder. Best bowling figures 5 for 36 for Tauranga Boys College. Two, three wicket bags, one five wicket bag. And, um, you know, when you've got a mode of dismissal for those 18 wickets, um, only, at, you know, the highest being 33%, so he takes them in all sh shapes. Spanked up in the air and taken. He gets a wicket off his first ball of the day, does McCrory. Caught it a wide-ish mid-off. Even almost cover, really, isn't it? But far out, that's... Uh, not really what the batter was looking for. He probably should have taken a few sighters, one would think, but he's gone after him first ball. Yep, 
bit of a shaky start here. But when you've only 60 runs in arrears, um, you could almost do with it whatever you like. Boy Take a look at this replay. Should be the right one this time. Look at bags one five. I believe it is. So, so we just skip forward. The sense is he takes on the north shape. There it shape. is. Maskell. You see, he, it. It, I think even even though his head's going out to the right there on that still image, he was more shaping his back to the left, yeah. to, to the onside. You're quite right. His swinging motion was going to the onside. Spanked up in the air and taken. He gets a wicket off his first court. ball of the Maskell day. One. Back live now. And McCrory will continue. Oh, Blaine Fraser. Fraser at the batting crease for the Eves Royalty uh, for the Element IMF Otomotai Cadets. Yep, just taking his Gargan set up here. It's Fraser. Here's his stats. Average of 33.9. McCrory, right arm around the wicket, and the edge and gone! McCrory's on a hat-trick here at Bay Oval. Or is he? No. Umpire says no. It had me fooled. I think it's had everyone fooled. I think the two crystals here in scoring thought it was as well. Well, it's gone to slip. So... To me, it looked like it was away from the body. So what? Has it hit Mr. Bat hit keeper's glove and gone to slip? Sorry, this is not a wicket, folks. Or well, nothing given just yet. We'll have a look yep, at this replay here. And set up here. And just wait it. and see. McCrory, right arm. Wow. I just go back here. McCrory. And I tell you what. Unfortunately, the keeper's in our way. Right arm around the wicket, oh, and the edge and so gone! Just, McCrory's just on a hat-trick here at Bay Oval. Uh, hey look, Christelle High, or she's is closer he? to it than we're, no, what we are. She's the one that's got to make the decision, so as it stands, the wicket doesn't fall. Yeah, interesting. I mean, it can only be bat or just off the keeper to slip. Um, and like you say, the umpire is closer than us. They're coming together now and just having a chat to the Captain, a little bit of maybe just a warning on back chat. Yeah, I'd say there's a bit of talk out there just going on. So, Anish Desai, who's at the short mid wicket, is the Israel T. Grant and Skipper. As a fielding side, you just got to put those sort of things out of their head. Control what you can and um, accept those that you can't. I'll tell you what, three down there would have. Made things very interesting here. It is a small target of 75, but Gretton starting well here. This one's straight and defended there by Fraser. Defended straight back again, this time into the bowler's hands on the bounce. McCrory getting into his work. Comes in again. This one's played quite nicely through the offside and it's just parried by a fielder out there and they'll get three for one, Fraser. That's him off the mark. Call it back on strike. McCrory's last ball the over. Collett to face. And Collett just defends it back to McCrory. And that'll be the over. 15 for two after four.
Alright, so four overs gone, an event for one there, 15 for two. So just talking off air, Elton, um, about the um, short, broad incident. <laughs> um, in, in similar fashion, in, in, you know, I know it's against the spirit of the game not to walk, I think, but Hampton's actually just come back into the bowling attack here from the Tauranga end. Um, there's a great couple of comedians that also use a uh, Kiwi guy um, in Australia. There's that Stuart Broad incident where, where I think the ball actually went to second slip. Hampton's first ball of the new over. Extravagant leave there. Beautiful leave. And um, I think those guys did a bit of a um, thing on it. And they actually managed to pull up hot spot for that one. <laughs> and, the, and I'm not, not saying that this is the same as this one here at all. Um, his Alexandra, Alexander Clegg says umpire's decision is final. And Alexander, look, I said it at the time and I've said it off here as well. That is definitely the case. Um, as this one slashed three point, got a retrieval mission. It's four runs. The great thing is about what the um, what the professor and Barney did. Oh, you know, as I said, they pulled up the hot spot for it, and it showed a clear mark off the middle of the bat that said cheat. <laughs> as I said, com completely different to this situation here. Yeah, well. We obviously are a lot further from, than the action than the umpire. It's umpire's cool. That was a beautiful shot last ball from Fraser as he faces another one here and just defends this one out from Hampton. Nice and full from the bowler. Yeah, we're a long way from the action here. The umpire's right there, so that's why they're making the calls. And, you know, if I could stand out there for, what is it, nearly eight hours on a Saturday, um, in 20, 30 degree heat, it's not that warm today, but um, and concentrate for that long, anyone could do it, basically, if it was that simple. As Hampton's just worked out to the offside for no run there. Yeah, it's not an easy gig. For sure, they do a good job. So it's not when I stream and commentate, always acknowledge the umpires. Yeah, rightfully so. Some clouds coming over top of the ground, you might see them. Sort of changing colour here and there, as Hampton steams in. Ooh, a play and miss there from Fraser. Looking to work it through the offside, but can't get anything on it. I was just going to talk about that cloud cover, but now it's completely open again. <laughs> just before when you said it, Elton, I think basically the keeper ran to a qu quite a straight, straighter um, fine league. It was just that was the only part of the field that was completely ba baked in the sun. And ball to come in the fifth over. Hampton, right arm over from the Tauranga end. And this one will be a travel mission between third slip and gully. And it ends the over. Five gone. 23 for two. Yeah, gone for four there. Slashed at it. Good bet on it. Down past the cordon and gully for four. Now that I've pushed the right button. <laughs> Get the old umpire out. Looks a bit like Dickie Bird, I reckon. McGrory, one over, one for one. Hampton finishes his third, third over, one for 15. Marcel Collette, seven off 11. And Blaine Fraser, nine off 10. It's Collette on strike. And McGrory coming right arm around. Just defended out the backward point, no run there. Oh, 
that's an edge pass slip this time. And it'll be at least two runs. Big chase there for the fielder. And they're coming back for three runs. And they'll get home comfortably there. Well, when it's your day, it's your day. And 50-50 things like that. And it wasn't too wide of first slip there. But uh, wide enough. There's McGroy again, right arm around to Fraser this time, who leaves it. And it's going to keep his gloves and back to McGrory. Defended again into the offside. That's right, Alton. I have updated the scoreboard to where it should be. <laughs> Another dot ball there. This one worked on the onside. It's McGraw again. Last ball, the over. A quick over. And it's outside off left alone. That'll be the over. Cadets 26 for two. After six. Oh, McGrory doing what um, Creighton did, the, did to them when they're batting, get, getting through the quick overs. Mish decide just having a Bit of a chat to Brett Hampton before he starts his fourth over. Desai, not a bad bowler himself. Bev's broadcasting set up uh, five and a half years ago to bring out um, not so much mainstream sports that are covered and to enable myself to commentate and find people like Elton who loves to commentate as well. <laughs> no place you'd rather be on a beautiful day here in the Mount, eh? Bay over watching some finals cricket as Hampton comes in. Defended well there by Marcel. <laughs> I'd say Alexander, yeah, uh, <laughs> probably if you do get a beamer, the batter's probably entitled to throw something at the bat bowler, intentional or not. There's Hampton again. It's pretty short and wide, left alone from the batter. Dot ball, through to the keeper. It's actually commentating a game on Thursday night in Hamilton between uh, cricket and rugby at a local rugby at a local sports club and uh, said one of the most standout things I remember about um, one of the players playing for team cricket that, that night There's Hampton again just worked under the onside this time from Cotlet. I was almost having my head taken off as an umpire, actually, because the bowler was taking exception to something I'd said to my fellow teammate as a batter. It wasn't at the bowler himself, but he uh, definitely got fired up thinking I was having a go at him, but I wasn't. Cricket is one of those strange things. It brings out all sorts. The good and bad. Hampton again, steams on in, and he puts a short one in that Collett drops under. Well played from the batsman and well bowled. Another doppel, that's one for the over. Yeah, two allowed before it's um, a no ball. That's full. 
and played out to point there from Collett. And that'll be the over. No, it won't. Oh, oh it did. Oh, it. You were going to tell me it was last ball. Was I, I, I just about did, actually. <laughs> it, it, you talked over me, Elton, um, which, I mean, happens at all sorts of levels of commentating, but um, I, I thought you were going to save my blushes there. <laughs> I did update the scoreboard pretty quickly, so I'll allow it. Last ball of the seventh, Hampton right arm over to Marcel Collette. Two slips and two gullies in place, and he just leaves it alone. N7, 26 for two, chasing 75 for the versatile Williams Cup 2024 final. With that, Alexander, we can agree on something about uh, you know Ben was being bold and what the batters can can do in return McGrory bowling right arm around smash straight back to him from Fraser no run seems like the element IMF cadets Otomotai cadets got a bit of support and chanting going on at the moment um, Elton yeah you love to see it the fans maybe sensing a, a title Around the corner for them here as McGrory gets one outside off to go through to the keeper. It's left alone from Fraser. It's them over there. McGrory again. This time it's played across the line from Fraser and they don't he doesn't bother running. That's gone all the way to deep mid wicket for four. Good aggressive shot from Fraser. The number four batsman. Ball's already back in McCrory's hands. That was quick, considering there was a boundary. This one's defended from Fraser. Yeah, well, it was one of those the ones that Midon had to turn around and get, and he wasn't too um, enthusiastic about it, at least. But it was, as you say, Elton, pretty quick back to the bowler. That's the over. 30 for 2 after 8. Now, when we were talking about that great shot that you see here at um, Bay Oval of Amama, not long in Nui. Beautiful stuff. Next to Mount Drury there. Yeah. Slight the change in um, difference. Mm -hmm. Height. Slight difference in height between those two mountains, yeah. Go on, you for knowing what the other mountain was called. Sorry, folks, I'm trying to sort out the camera work there. Probably shows why um, for cricket I do have a still camera. Well, you'd hope I know what it's called when I live at the base of it, Bev. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> Jared Tully, again from the the end. Oh, Yorker up in the block hole there from Tuddy. Dug out well. Dot ball. I think that could be the last time I move the camera because I just can't get it right again. <laughs> I need a two camera set up so I can do it. Do I apologise, folks? Tuddy, right arm over the wicket, dug out well there by Marcel Collett. Collett, I should say. Out to the offside, no run.
If you have anything you'd like live streamed, folks, doesn't matter whether it's in the Waikato, Bay of Plenty, or Auckland regions, get in touch with me, Beth Broadcasting Official, on Facebook. Oh, good pace there from Tuddy. Hurries the batsman up and Collett gets it away. Ends up at fine leg for two runs, so <laughs> handy runs there for the cadets. Well, even if you want it filmed, um, doesn't matter what it is. And generally it's a no because I'm already busy. Whoa, there's an appeal for court behind Tati. doesn't appeal at all, but... He turns around with his head hung back, though. Yeah, close to the outside edge, and the cordon and keeper went up. A good ball from Tati. I think it was one of those ones again, Elton. Just too good of a ball. Comes Tati again. This one's on the pads and worked away nicely. Out square. Could go to the fence. No, it'll be cut off by finally gets around. But they're coming back for three comfortably there. Marcel Collett. A good three runs off his pads there. Ends the ninth. No, it, no, it doesn't. doesn't. They've done it again. Oh, well, at least I'm consistent. Consistent. Consistently bad is still consistent. I think we're putting a second gully into play here. Got two slips and two gullies, you can see to the left of screen. It's on the pads, they go up for an LBW appeal, not out, says the umpire. So that'll end the ninth over. The cadets 35 for two. Again, just because um Tully just starts from wide of crease in bowling it and just bringing it back into the batter's pads. Probably going down league there. It's a good appeal, but um, it was turned down pretty quick. Rory comes in, bowls it full on the batsman's toes and Collett just whips it out to mid-wicket, no run. Marcel Collett that is, and he plays this one down to mid-off, no run again. Just hitting the fielders at the moment. McQuarrie enjoying getting through his overs nice and quick and not conceding too many runs. Wow, a lot of backing up from Fraser there, but he's told to go back. From Marcel, no run. Yeah, I think Marcel is just caught in the crease there and really no chances. This one put him just off the wicket there. Four quick dots in a row from McCrory. We've seen it in the first innings. Spencer Wills, the spinner, getting through his overs quickly. Now we're seeing it from McCrory, the Gretton spinner. Another dot there. Flights that one up, and this time they will squeeze a run out of it. Collett gets it down to mid-off for a run. So that's the end of the 10th. The Cadets, 36 for 2 after 10. They need 75 to win this one. Almost halfway there. Other than the odd wobble that they've had, um, nothing on track for a, for a third consecutive versatile Williams Cup title. End of the first power play. I think if I was Eve's Realty Gert in here, I wouldn't really bother about that too much. You still want attacking fields, only just the one player out 
and that's it fine yeah, leg. Cool. Right, right, right. 39 runs required to, for the victory. So this one's just flipped. And Hampton does the fielding, uh, Tully does the fielding, sorry. Yeah, good pace there from Tuddy. Batsman a little bit slow on it, just putting him on the thigh pad. Almost halfway to their target. Here, yeah, the cadets. Well played there. Defended just into the offside, no run. Good bowling and good batting there. Tutty again. Again, just on the spot. And defended from Collett. Dot ball. That's Halfway through the over. One of those um, rinse, rinse and repeat <laughs> efforts there. Um, both bowler and batter basically doing the same stuff. Tutty again. Like he's bowling with some good heat, and that one just worked away on the onside. No run again. Over Alice Johnson Oval in the versatile Williams Cup plate final. Pippa Maher batting first against Craig's investment partners, Geyser City. 168 for 7 in the 47th. Tahi. Just gets peeled down between the cordon and gully for four. The interesting thing is there, I, I actually thought it had been played straight to the gully fielder. Um, but it wasn't until the cadet supporters went off, went off that I realised, no, it was a boundary. Yeah, just well guided down through to the deep third man area on the boundary. No fielder there, down there right now, so... Good result, and that one's left beautiful to leave outside off, and it was a good ball as well. Well left from Marcel Collett. That's the end of the over. Cadets 40 for two after 11. Yeah, two early wickets, which is what um, Eve's Realty Gretchen were after, and. Um, it has just been runway traffic again not long after that. McRory to continue from the mount end. Fraser on strike. Defended out to mid off, no run. It's an interesting field that McGlory has here. It's got a backward point, a very backward point. Cover, which does the fielding of this ball. Mid off, mid on. A mid wicket, a short, wide, fine leg, and a backward square. A half-hearted appeal, it's slip and not out. There's McRory, he's halfway through it. His fifth over of the day. That's pretty well played, a beautiful shot in fact by Fraser. A cover drive racing to the fence for four, it gets there. Beautiful shot. Pitched up from McCrory and doubt to by Fraser. This one worked on the onside, no run. So one left in this over. McCrory's fifth of the day. 
10 minutes away from the scheduled um, interval. There's a sweep. And that, that is. Just did a swipe in over the top of this one. Yeah, yeah risky shot. And so 12, 44 for two. Yeah, it's, as I say, 10 minutes from the scheduled interval. Um, but I believe we may push on, but we will have to wait and see what the umpires tell us. There's Tuddy continuing from the toe long end. And oh, what a shot that is from Marcel. Cuts it out for four runs. Beautiful shot. Marcel Collett. Well, as the saying goes, fun in the sun. And Marcel Collett Clip goes, thanks very much. Not much I have to do to put that into the boundary rope. 48 for two. The cadets looking comfortable, cruising to their target of 75 for now. Tuddy again. Oh, this one beats the outside edge. That's a good ball from Tuddy. Well, you've just smacked a loose ball from me. First ball for four. Have a piece of this one. Back of the length in three and a half stump line. Tuddy's just defended there from Collar. He'll even go down and do the fielding. Pick the ball up and throw it to Desai, the skipper. Chris Harris-esque, that, that sort of stuff, running after your own ball. Here comes Tuddy again. Bounce it. Ducked under there by Collet. Well evaded. If the old periscope up though, you don't see that often these days. Even a bat up as you duck underneath. Pulled well here from Collet. Work for the fielder to do. They get across and cut it off to two runs, but another good shot from Marcel Collett. He's looking good out there. Brings up the 50 for the cadets. 50 for two. I'm sure there's been a few uh, eight, uh, seven ball overs in this sittings, well, uh, this match. Well, according to my scoreboard, there has. <laughs> there again and that'll be the over this time 50 for 2 after 13 the cadets cruising at this point they need another 25 to win this one interesting you know, you know scenario that's going to happen here in 5 minutes with the interval whether the batters would want to take the break or not. I believe the final decision is down to the umpires as to whether they believe the uh, required runs, which is 25 at the moment, um, can be scored in a reasonable amount of time as McRory starts again. One for 13. Starts with a dot. Blaine Fraser, 17 of 28. Marcel Collette, 26 of 42. 
Right arm round again. And this one splits the gap between point and cover. And there's two runs to the total. Yeah, you got excited there, Bev. I think it sounded like in your voice it was going for four, but yeah, two. Oh, it's half right. Yeah, <laughs> half of four. And on the front foot, Fraser defends this one. McGrory into his sixth over. Bowling well today. That's cut away just for the one run there from Fraser in between the fieldsman at cover and point. This one's straight from McCrory and worked around the corner to the man behind square from Collett. No run. Marcel Collett to face the last ball of this McCrory over and he does so. And that'll be the over. 53 for two after 14. Pretty much the last sort of Saturday of uh, cricket season. What, what are your plans for winter there, Elton? Yeah, I was going to say this must be one of the last sort of the last game of the of the season that Bay Over will see. Would it be? I would say so. I don't believe. Well, there's no club cricket left. No, and there's no. I don't think there's. Well, unless there's some more. I don't know. The only international cricket going on in New Zealand still is New Zealand versus England. And yeah. I believe most of that is South Island or Wellington down, basically. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, winter for me. Just um, I'll be doing the stats for the Warriors and I'll be sneaking in a bit of commentary for rugby and league here and there. What about yourself? Well, because uh, Auckland University, uh, the actually I'll come back to something in a, in a moment it's the first ball from James Boyd whipped round behind square and four runs yeah cut behind point there by Fraser for four runs good shot there he's played some good strokes out there Fraser well I'll be at um, oh sorry going back to the um, women's uh, fixtures there's two one day is being played at Seddon Park apologies I was going to say, normally East is the, um, it stops at Seddon Park other than a couple of social fixtures. Usually the ground staff has a match against uh, um, one club just out of Hamilton. Uh, but me for winter, the uh, Auckland University's commentator decided to go overseas and um, then come back and move to Tauranga, is that correct, Elton? <laughs> To the, to the mount, yes. Yeah, to the mount. Um, so I'm commentating on their live stream. I'm also live streaming and commentating uh, Grammar Tech. Got one trip to Hamilton in May as well, to Melville, Collins Road, on their sponsor's day. Boyd, quickly four balls in his spell here. Eighteen required is near the interval. And I'll make it seventeen with that quick single to Ford Point. You'd think they'd just carry on through rather than taking a break if there's only seventeen runs to win. What do you think? We'll I think so, enough. but you know we we don't know what it, what's being said ground level. He's Boyd again. Put a spin there for the leggy. And that's his first over done. Cadets, 58 for 2 after 15. Well, looking at the way the umpires have uh, motioned there, carry on we are, 17 to 1. He's 
40 something, isn't he? Well, to uh, continue, so that's great to see, Elton. Yeah, good on them, so they should. Oh, oh that's out. Yeah, that Caught it mid wicket no, there. Fraser no. just gets back on the back foot and pulls that straight to mid wicket. Yeah. A good sharp catch. Charles Williams with the ball, with the wicket. Potsy by name. Potsy by athlete of ability, and it's 58 for three. Brett Hampton, hammer, by nickname, with the hands. Otomotai Cadets. Look at that replay. Taking his Gargan set up here. Let's phrase it. Here's his stats. That's right. He didn't load that up properly. I'll, I'll, I'll get there at some point. <laughs> well, Fraser will be wishing they did take the interval break. Instead, he's back in the pavilion. It was looking good too. Second time a spinner's come into the attack. Taking a wicket first ball. Thanks very much, Chris High, for that information. I did hear. <clears throat> it's uh, Pentecost at the batting crease. Williams again. Gets the ball straight back off Pentecost, who just worked it back to the bowler. And again, defend straight back to the bowler. Wicket dot dot. Good start for Williams. That one's worked around the corner to mid wicket. No run. Black Pentecost played in the 21-22 uh, reserves one day final. Uh, the Element IMF Cadet Otomoto Cadets. That one, they thought about sneaking through for a run, but it's fielded pretty sharply. No run there. On the back foot this time, straight to cover, no run. That's the over, good start for Williams. It's a wicket maiden. Just another little bit of glimmer of hope. I mean, uh, the old wins, a wisp I think it is, um, predicted probably saying 99% for Element IMF Cadets. Wasp, winning and score predictor. I was trying to think of the um, thing that Sky Sport had or Spark Sport had a couple of seasons ago. It's James Boyd to continue. One over for five. Starts with the full ball just played to point. Yeah, Marcel Collett. Better well today. Leaves that one late. Uh, it's a good leave. Well, as I say, there's only two types of leaves, a good one or a bad one. I think the uh, worst leave I've ever seen was by um, the big show, Glenn Maxwell, in the BBL. Oh, yes. One where, he, one. one where he came down about halfway down the pitch and left it alone to, to be out middle stump. Yeah, it was backing away from it, wasn't he? And then forgot where his stumps were, he left it. Boyd gets clobbered out through the offside, and that could go for four. It will. It's a good shot there from Collett, and you can hear their fans starting to get excited. 
where that volume just keeps increasing from the um, next to the pavilion where the extensions are going out. 13 one runs to win. Marcel Collett, he'll be wanting to stay out there for a nice nod out. He spanks that one. It will be cut off for just the one run in the end, but another good attacking shot from Marcel. Marcel Collette off strike for the last ball of the over, but um, Elton is done well to carry his bats through here. Yep. It's uh, always good when your opener can carry you through to these totals. As they were going to sneak through for a single here. Pentecost gets through. And that'll be the over here. 64 for 3. 11 required to win here for the Cadets. One hand on the trophy. It's almost one and a half now. But, um, but then again, as they say, just takes a couple of balls, changes things slightly. You can pick up two wickets and two overs. Um, you know, that changes the game a little bit more and just gives um, element IMF Otomoto Cadets something to think about. It's potsy to continue from the Mount Monganui end. Yeah, 100%. You just got to keep your head up if you're Gretchen. As that's worked around the corner for Pentecost, a shot, the stumps. But they're home safe. And Collett's back on strike now. 10 to win. Will he try and do it with two strokes here? He leaves that one. Bounce that one on the onside for one. Well played, well ran. Yeah, well, it's happy days for Warren, Reb Warren Weber back in the uh, 70s and 80s, but not so much for Charles Williams. Good old happy days uh, throw out there. Big swing here, and it looks good. Yep, one bounce, four. Beautiful shot there. Otomotai Cadets. From Pentecost getting in on the action. His first boundary Otomotai of the Cadets. Innings. Yeah, went after it. Went after it hard. Now the target's five. Will he try to finish it with a six here? No. Dot ball worked around the corner. I've been enjoying your work today, Chris High, until you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's> fine, <laughs> Oh, oh, was it Chris James? Sorry, apologies. <laughs> Mentioned those two oh, awful words in New Zealand cricket, super and over. <laughs> Williams kicks that one outside the off stick and it's left alone for a dot. It's the end of the over. Cadet 70 for three after 18. Yeah, another big thanks to the scorers, Chris James and Chris High, as well as the umpires today, Chris Hill High, and Jess Singh have done some fabulous work out there. And also another big thanks to Jared Carter and his ground staff here at Bay Oval, as well as the work that Mikhail from Bay Plenty Cricket has done to put it on this day. It's Tim Clark into the bowling crease from the Mount Monganui end. Bunted down the ground here. And we'll get at least two. Yeah, and then there's a misfield too, but it will will just be the two runs. Defended there on the front foot. It's great to see that... Um, Gretton, he's Realty Gretton, still attacking in the field as well. Collett pumps that out, and it looks like it'll go for four. That could be the winning runs. And it is. 
Marcel Collett has the last say here at Bay Oval as he whacks it out to the mid-wicket boundary. And the cadets are running on the field celebrating. Absolute scenes as they win the comp here at Bay Oval comfortably by seven wickets. Chasing down that total of 75 set by Grayton here. Well, the only um, only positive for Grayton really in that game is that uh, they won the toss. Uh, they've lived and died by their sword uh, on their decision to bat first. And I mean, who's to say that if Otomotai cadets, if they'd uh, won the toss and elected to bat, which they said they were going to do anyway, as well, um, it w would have been the same thing, but just in reverse. Congratulations again, three time. Uh, Versatile Williams Cup champions in 2024 and hard luck to the um, Eves Realty Grant inside. Big thanks to all the officials, everyone who's put on this game. Um, huge thanks again to you, Elton. You just make my job look a lot simpler. Minus the mistakes, of course. Last thoughts, mate. Yeah, no, it's just uh, probably not the longer, the sort of, you know, length of game that all the fans wanted today but congrats to the cadets getting the job done rolling them for not too many runs and knocking them off pretty comfortably yeah so they won this one by seven wickets does the element IMF Otomotai cadets the versatile Williams Cup 2024 on behalf of Elton Gray my name is Bevan Jenkinson of Bev's Broadcasting hey Connor.